statistically, the odds were simply against two American missionaries who contracted the Ebola virus in West Africa. But as our health beat anchor Emory Tiernan tells us tonight, today, health experts say both patients, including a doctor here from Indiana, they are free of the illness. Talk about a miracle. A lot of prayers were going up for both of them. Well, you know, when the doctor spoke today at a press conference in Atlanta, 11 o'clock, he said today is a miraculous wow. day. And he gave a lot of thanks. You know, both of the missionaries got sick in Africa. And there was some fear that when they came here to the States two and a half weeks ago for care, that the disease could spread here. Well, today, both of them are out of the hospital. And doctors say public health is not at risk. And there's plenty of credit to go around. Indianapolis native and missionary Dr. Kent Brantley looked happy and healthy as he read a prepared statement on his discharge day from Emory University in Atlanta. It's where doctors say he is free of the Ebola virus. I'm thrilled to be alive, to be well, and to be reunited with my family. Fellow missionary Nancy Reipel is reportedly weaker. She was released Tuesday. As she walked out of her isolation room, all she could say was, to God be the glory. Both became ill working to contain the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. They are the first Ebola patients to be treated in the U.S. and the first to receive an experimental Ebola drug called ZMAP. Frankly, we do not know whether it helped them, whether it made no difference, or even theoretically if it delayed their recovery. Doctors insist neither is a threat now to public health. He is everything that everybody has said about him. Meantime, those who grew up with Brantley on Indy Southeast side are thrilled to see he's well. Praying, crying, crying, praying. It's been that same um, all the time, you know, and today was just joy. I mean, it's just joy. Hicks grew up going to church with Brantley and his home congregation now is excited to see what he does next. Now that he's come through this crisis, uh, Kent is still Kent. He's still going to want to serve. He's still going to want to be someone who makes a difference for good in the world. Bantley graduated class of 1999 from Heritage Christian School. But he sat right here in the middle. He was like right in the middle, middle row. His history teacher, now the student, being schooled in faithfulness. And here's this young kid that I had in class, and I'm looking up to him. Uh, for the example that he set for me and just trusting in the Lord. Brantley expressed gratitude for prayer, God, and his medical team's expertise and care before slipping out and asking for privacy with his family. And while Brantley said today was a miraculous day, he also called for attention now to turn to the people who are in leadership and who have influence, who can help bring the Ebola outbreak to an end. Because he says in West Africa, many more are suffering and thousands more are at risk.